Today we're going to be talking about black oiled rough out Truman boots. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing two incredible builds from Truman Boots. So right here, we have my Trumans in Poor Ween's Charcoal Chamois Leather, and I'm gonna be comparing them to these new Truman Boots from my buddy Mario, AKA Boot Reaper on Instagram. Huge thanks to him because without him, this video would not have been possible today. This build is going to be using a different leather. This is actually Seidel's black oiled rough out leather. And there is quite a few stark differences between these two boots, despite looking almost identical. Before I get started real quick, these are my boots. I've had them about two years. This is my favorite pair of black boots, hands down. I don't always wear black boots, so I don't always reach for these, and I also have a very large rotation. Uh, boots are more addictive than cocaine, by the way, so I will warn you <laughs> in advance before you get started collecting. If you're already a boot collector, well, my sympathies. My channel only serves to enable your addiction. This is just my favorite black boot, period. Mostly because I am such a Corween chamois nerd. I love this leather. It's so oiled. It's a, it's a heavily oiled, rough out leather. It's heavy weight. It is manly, fuzzy. It's got all the qualities that I love in a leather. And then when I compare that to these boots right here, the Seidel's new black oiled rough out, they're pretty similar, but they're both kind of different in their own ways. So first and foremost, I could tell that the charcoal chamois Trumans have been shaved down a lot closer, so there's not as much nap. Whereas on these Seidel black oiled rough outs, they left a lot of the nap intact. And so right now it's kind of still all matted down, but as Mario wears them, he's gonna be roughing up a lot of nap and it's gonna get really hairy in a lot of places. So particularly where most of the nap is showing up is on this back heel stay right here. Really, really cool, really gnarly stuff. So certain areas on each boot are matted down, but that said, the Horween charcoal chamois have a lot more of a suede appearance to them, again, because they, the nappy fibers have been shaved down to be much more of a smooth consistency. Now that said, I do have some chamois leather that is very hairy, very fuzzy, but for simplicity's sake, I won't bring them into the frame today. In terms of matte versus shine, the Horween charcoal chamois is a lot more matte overall in appearance. Now this will vary boot to boot, but this Seidel Black Oil Rough Out 
It's a lot more shiny in a lot of areas. Now, huge caveat, once Mario starts wearing them, that shine will wear off in a lot of spots. I hate to say it, but I actually like Mario's build better than mine. Um, <laughs> he's got about a half inch higher shaft here. I hate to compare shafts, shaft lengths, but I'm gonna do it. So Mario's shaft is five and a half inches long, and mine is five and a quarter inches long. So <laughs> don't be such an adolescent, Dale. All right, anyways, moving on. On my build, I opted for antique brass eyelets. I really like the piercing look of the polished brass eyelets on Mario's build. I love the way gold looks against black leather. I just, I just do. It's just something I really love. Whereas mine's a little bit more subdued. Now I was going for an all blacked out dark, overall dark appearance, but I still opted for the antique sole. Now Mario's sole edges are painted a little bit more, uh, a little bit warmer of a brown color, whereas mine are all natural. Both of these boots are 270 degree Goodyear welted. Both have a storm welt and both have the same level of exactness in terms of accuracy in building these boots. So the skill level remains consistent with Truman. Though on Mario's pair, you can see the stitches are a little bit more recessed from the edge. Whereas on mine, my stitches come a lot closer to the edge there on the welt. Mario's also has what appears to be like a brown or a copper colored stitching, which is really nice. Really, stitching doesn't always add much to the aesthetic of the boot, but in this case, I think it's really elegant, the stitch color that was chosen on these. Whereas on mine, my st stitches are all black, so you can't really see them. Both are triple stitched on the cap toe, but again, on mine, it's so muted out that you can't hardly see it. I have a Vibram, I believe that's a 470 sole, whereas Mario got, again, another upgrade, the Truman Lug Commando sole. Dang it, Mario, you're making me look bad now. <laughs> you're making my choices look bad. Uh, also, mine are fully unlined, except for in the vamp, whereas Mario's are, yeah, Mario's are also unlined except for in the vamp. This Seidel Black Oiled Rough Out is struck through completely, similar to the Horween Chamois, which is good, that's what you want. So, it, it well, that's not necessarily what you always want, but uh, it's not gonna T-core, it's not gonna expose any natural undertones with wear, it's always gonna be black no matter what you do to it. There's no changing that. Mario has some interesting, some nice contrasting lining along the eyelet facings that does have a natural edge. I'll try to capture that on camera. Whereas mine also has those same linings, but they are struck through black all the way. And then Mario's tongue is actually a T-core leather. It's, it's natural on the other side. You can see that there. And uh, it's much thicker than my tongue as well. My tongue is a thinner leather. It's also struck through all the way. So Mario's tongue will T-core with time. The tongue on Mario's is five and a half ounces, whereas the tongue on mine is three and a half ounces. So. Got a little bit more girth there. Well, I have been wholly emasculated in comparing our mutual boots. <laughs> yeah, Mario's is just a, a shining example of what Truman can do. And you know what, I still love these boots. These are still my favorite black boots of all time, but Mario's build still wins. <laughs> yeah, really nice selections. Oh, also I really love the sole stitching. There's, there's yellow outsole stitching here, really contrasts nicely, whereas mine are a standard white. Mine do have one thing that I do prefer. On a build like this, I really like to get the rawhide laces uh, to match. And so I paired these Guarded Goods black rawhide laces with this Horween chamois, and I think they just marry up just so beautifully together. Whereas on Mario's, the laces are a brown rawhide leather lace, which still looks fantastic. But if I were Mario, I'd probably opt for some black rawhide laces. Though I will say that Truman does run some of the best rawhide laces in the game. That's what I love about Truman. They throw in two pairs of laces with your boots. Their rawhides are always what I pick though because they are just my favorite. They're very reminiscent of the Guarded Goods rawhide laces, which I totally love. And then an honor honorable mention is gonna go to these Parkhursts in black 
waxy. So this black waxy leather is a good comparison here because this is a leather, I believe it's sourced from either Italy or Spain. Uh, Andrew will not reveal the tannery, that is okay. Some secrets are best kept to the shop owner. Sometimes bootmakers strike up special deals with tanneries to only offer a certain leather to them, usually in exchange for their patronship or something to that nature. But this black waxy is very nice. This is a good comparison because this black waxy leather has a much higher wax content, whereas these two have a much higher oil content. When you first look at them, you might sort of get confused and think, oh, are these sort of the same thing? But they're not. The black waxy is very similar, almost identical, I would say, to Charles F. Stead's Waxy Commander, which is a heavily waxed, shrunken suede. And as you can see, this is the least nappy of the three because most of it is still plated down. I haven't worn these too hard just yet. This is a phenomenal build. I will leave a link to the Parkhurst website in the description below, so shop his builds if you are so interested. I really like the way Andrew incorporated nickel eyelets. I also love the look of silver slash nickel against black. Really amazing there. This one's 360 degree welted with a split reverse weld. So definitely a different build compared to the Truman's and Charcoal Chamois, but it's also a very good comparison. Yeah, I just love that Parkhurst lug commando outsole on these two. So a little bit about this black oiled rough out leather. Black oiled rough out is a new chrome tanned leather from Seidel. Featuring a hefty use of oil in the tanning process, this leather is perfect for footwear, tough, supple, beautiful, and very weather resistant. Not to be confused with the similarly named black oil tanned rough out, a drier, stiffer leather we've used in the past. So Truman has a really cool page on their website comparing black to back, a comparison of our black leathers. Black shrunken bison, hell, I'll bring the black, my black shrunken bison into the frame. This is another one of my favorite black boots. Just love these things. This is Law Tanning's Black Shrunken Bison. All gold eyelets. Again, I went with my black rawhide laces on these. These also have a lug commando outsole. This is before Truman introduced their own proprietary lug commando outsole. Brown stitching, very similar build to Mario's black oil rough out there. They ran the black shrunken bison, black T-core, black waxed flesh, black oiled rough out. Oh cool, and they give examples of each one. That's really cool of Truman to do that. Yeah, they give really good examples of each, each how each looks. The black T-core is so awesome. So is the black waxed flesh, wow. So yeah, and as you can see here, the appearance of the black shrunken bison is markedly different from the charcoal chamois. Once again, that charcoal chamois is a true black hole of a black, whereas this black shrunken bison is sort of shiny, and so it's going to reflect off some of the light. And then this Seidel black oiled rough out, it's gonna be sort of a, an in-between of the two. Probably a little bit more wax than the charcoal chamois. So this is all along a spectrum, and wax versus oil is gonna be at the heart of this comparison because you can infuse leathers with different contents. Each different one is gonna be a blend of different ingredients, if you will. The Horween Chamois is always gonna be, it is definitely the most oily of all of these, I would say, followed by the black oiled rough outs here. I think the black oiled rough out has a little bit more wax in it compared to the charcoal chamois Truman's here. And then obviously these Parkhurst are gonna have the highest wax content, lowest oil content of the three. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I just checked my stats the other day and literally 91% of my viewers are non-subscribers. <laughs> I assume that's because people are watching it while not logged in, not logged into YouTube. And so they're probably getting fed my videos through an algorithm. So if they're looking up like Red Wing content or something, then maybe my video will pop up as something to watch next. That's what I assume is going on. But if you are signed into your account, please subscribe because yeah, less than 10% of my viewers are subscribers. It's kind of nuts when you look at the, uh, when you look at the stats. Also, I 99.7% of my viewers are male, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm not trying to change that. I love my wife. All right. Anyways, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching guys. I'm Dale of Dale's Leatherworks. Uh, please leave me a comment. All relevant links will be in the description below. And anyways, stay tuned. I have a ton of more content coming up.